you posted just recently, uh, and I, I read everything you post because I'm a creep. Uh, you okay. posted about a dream you had about Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And I wanted to ask you about it. What, what's going on with you and Dwayne The Rock Johnson? This I don't... Is a, this is a dream, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it didn't feel like it. So that was what's a little worrying, but I was had... Was it a good dream? Yeah, it's not like a sex dream, but don't get weird. It was like, you know, you have a love dream? No. Like, you wake no. up feeling I don't like know what love. you're... No. They're no. way more powerful than a sex dream. It's, it's, you wake up feeling like sex, like, it's brief. Love, it, if I woke up in love with him, and I, I've had a few of them over the years, and I remember every single one, they last for like a long time. Like I'll always have, whether I meet him ever or not, I'll always have feelings for him. Wait a minute, you, you haven't even <laughs> met Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and you really do feel, you wake up from these dreams and you feel like you're they're actually... So, they're so, I can... What I, happens in the dream where you're in love with him? It was a long dream. Like, it, I also, halfway through it, woke up and went to the bathroom, and it came back to it. Like, sometimes that doesn't happen. But I was able to get right back to it, and we were at, like, lunch somewhere, and it was kind of noisy, and it was very flirty, and he leaned over, and he whispered, I love you, and I pretended not to hear, because I was like, I don't know you. And uh, at least my subconscious knew that. Right. I shouldn't be too forward about to say it back. But I woke up feeling such regret that I didn't say it back. That I felt like the only thing I could do to remedy that, like, weight was to Instagram about it. So you Instagrammed about it. Now, January, you are a well-known celebrity. <laughs> Did you not hear from Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Has anyone from his camp reached out to you? I mean, you put yourself no. out there and said, <laughs> I'm now in love with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> and nothing, you've heard nothing back? <laughs> I mean, no, not yet. You're in a very That's vulnerable very, position. Yeah, You're I, very vulnerable right now. <laughs> Have you dreamed about anyone else? And maybe anyone who's here now? Have you any? Um, no, but I No, once I was you like... get past this couch. <laughs> January, once you get past the couch and then you start looking at the band and, you know, people, the, it, it, no. It was that, behind camera for a little Yeah, bit. no, no, um, no. No, I, I can remember almost, like, in my, between my 20s and 30s, Peyton Manning, that was a long Peyton time. Peyton Manning. It was a long, feel, like, a long, like, good few years I felt feelings for him. Um, one that was, oh, one I had to look up, like I could see his face and hear his voice, but I didn't know who it was, and it was the guy who was um, the brother in Face Off, you know, the Alessandro guy. He's very handsome, but I didn't know, I had no, it was... Who is that? Do you have that name, yeah, Tim? Uh, Navola? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I give him my best. And uh, he, and then the weirdest one was, and this is creepy a little bit, <clears throat> but it was Harry Potter, but it was the character in the book He's a child. But it was like, He's a little boy. But it was like book eight or seven, and it was. He's still a child. That's inappropriate. No, he was a teenager. <laughs> it was fine, I'm sure. It wasn't, I don't know how to explain this. It wasn't the actor Daniel Radcliffe. It was my mental subconscious version of Harry Potter when I was reading the book. Okay. So he was very mature. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Looking... That's totally cool. Yeah. That's yeah, totally I think, cool. I think you're in a lot of trouble now. Uh, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. And, and these are, let's be clear, these are not sex dreams. And what I found interesting is that you said you've had sex dreams and they're uninteresting. Whereas I find sex dreams to be absolutely fascinating. Well, because there's many layers of what's happening in my, my love dreams. It's not just a physical... There's many layers to my sex dreams. <laughs> My sex dreams are pretty intense. Well, tell us about who you've had sex dreams with. Oh, there were so many people in there, it's hard to keep track. Harry Potter? It's like a Roman orgy. No, Harry Potter's not in there. <laughs> it's like a Disney ride, must be this tall. It's an intercoding sex dream. Not anyone can just wander in. I bet Hermione was in there. Like it just No, <laughs> Hermione's not in there. Okay, She's okay. a child. Not anymore. What the hell? I don't like which way you're going with this. No. Okay. A lot of very older actresses in their 60s are in there, in their 70s. I like How? that. I like that she's trying to pimp out people into your sex dream. I know. <laughs> you're trying to get Hermione into my sex dream. Just stay, keep her out of there. Okay? Ready. Yeah, it's all the Golden Girls. All right. <laughs>